really is tragic and uh, how drugs, illegal use of drugs, can affect anyone. Now at 6.30, in the path, how this deadly chase and day of mayhem is still haunting the woman who came in contact with that suspect. A quiet Wood County community was disturbed by a fugitive this weekend. During the manhunt for Brian Lip, his presence made lots of people in Rudolph uneasy. But when it comes to the woman he carjacked, he took away her sense of security. Fox Toledo's Allison Brown is on assignment with how that victim is dealing with what happened. Yeah, I talked with her husband today, and the couple doesn't want to be identified. But after having a gun pointed at her and her car stolen, I'm told she cannot even sleep at night. Neighbors say when Brian Lip tore through this Rudolph community and carjacked a woman at her home, they were shocked because usually it's a safe place. We've always felt really safe. Um, like I was trying to explain to my wife, it's a freak, freak thing um, that this happened. Um, you can't prepare yourself uh, for something like this. We don't know why he was on Bays Road for a while. Just who knows? He was, he was probably high on a lot of drugs. This is the first Honda Civic police say 48-year-old Lip stole on his chaotic chase through Lucas and Wood County Saturday. He ditched it on Bays Road in Rudolph just before approaching the woman and said his car had broken down. She went in to grab the, the cell phone for the gentleman and uh, come back out. He brandished a gun and uh, said he was taking her car. But that was just one of the violent acts police say the fugitive committed that day. They say Lip caused a multi vehicle accident that killed a man, tried to ram Toledo police cars, and even robbed a Walgreens in Bowling Green. All this before he crashed into a garage in Toledo and was shot and killed by police. According to Toledo Police Chief Mike Navarre, Lip exited the wrecked vehicle, lit up a crack pipe, and refused to put his gun down. They are still investigating this case. I wouldn't wish that on any family, his family. Um, Anything of that nature. It's just a, uh, a tragic thing. On assignment, Allison Brown Fox, Toledo News.